four months, four plus months in Alabama is soon to come to an end. We are going to get ready and explore a new state of Alabama. Welcome to Sweet Home Alabama. This is the bridge through Mobile. We've been sitting in traffic for probably a good 30 minutes or so. Uh, it's probably going to be the slowest moving tunnel ever. Hey, we're going 12 miles an hour. Yeah, All right. 12 miles an hour, so we'll see. We'll see how long it takes us to get through the tunnel. Our stop in Alabama brought us to this small RV park and offers hot tub rentals delivered right to your site. Here is the catch and release pond here at our campsite and right next to the little pavilion where you can request whatever you'd like on TV. So if you have a big game or something you want to watch, here's where you can do it. There's a place for a sink and to lay out food if you have potluck. And we are right there. The playground. There's some really big trees in the area, and so they have used some of the limbs to make swings. You can overlook the pond or the massive fire pit. This historic Fort Gaines established in 1821, the site of the Battle of Mobile Bay. This is what's left of a shipwreck washed ashore in the ferry of Hurricane Georgia's in the fall of 1998. However, the purpose of the ship, its origin, and the fate of the crew is unknown. Fort Gaines is located on Dauphin Island. After paying a mission to get into the fort, you are given a guide that is numbered. Each number correlates with a different part of the fort. You can explore at your own pace and learn all about the history of the fort. Visible from this point is the location of a 3-inch rapid fire battery atop a small hill. The 928-foot pier ran, originally ran out from this point into the water. Can we find 20, you think? Over here? Okay, let's go. Let's go take a look. Ammunition magazine. Was blocked during concrete gun mount construction. Nearly all the concrete structure within the fort was built between 1898 and 1903. Can you say echo, 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 echo? One of the cool things about doing school this way is we get to work on counting and our history and how they built forts. And uh, you know, we get to learn different things than you learn in a classroom all the time. This is the officer's quarters. The building was originally three stories tall, but the upper floors were destroyed during the Battle of Mobile Bay. The standard garrison for this fort was around 400 men. The enlisted men's barracks outside the walls were burned down during the Battle of the Mississippi sign. There you go. Alright, welcome to Mississippi, kiddos. Another one bites dust. This is our harvest host stay here in Mississippi. All of our friends for the night. I guess they can fit up to 10 rigs in here. All right, we are here at the Gulf Shore National Seashore. Look how long Lily's wingspan is. That's a juvenile. Wow. Oh, that's an adult one there. Come check out their visitor center. It's pretty informative. A lot of hands-on information. Can you show me how to do it? Hunter's learning too. Or he's just practicing his driving skills. I think he's just practicing his driving skills. You drive in? Yeah. Look at all these shrimp boats. They're in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Docking destination in Louisiana. We're out here in Louisiana. 
and we've been here for a couple days. We're actually out on a friend's property. Camper set up right there. They have full hookups for us. And today's a very special day, crawfish boil day. Colin and Adam went and got the crawfish. It's our very first in Louisiana crawfish boil. So we're going to spend the day playing volleyball. The volleyball net right there. I guess we're right on top of it through the volleyball net. Right there, they got a bounty house. They have cornhole and some ring toss. We're just gonna spend the day outside hanging out. You going straight into this one here? Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. That one might be dead anyway. There he is. Playing games with it. Why don't you go pick up the dead one and the garbage one? He's ready to fight. Or, or put it, hey, Ames, put it in the sack over there. Give him a sack. kiss. Hey! 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 Showing us how it's done, boy. It's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, there's a pro right there. All right, Addie's getting it. There we go. You guys living the life in the swing. Yeah, is it fun? Hey, Hunter, come here. Hunter, come on. The Louisiana Renaissance Festival was hosting Pirate Weekend just down the road from where we were staying. We bought some tickets and enjoyed all the shows. out at the state park there's a little causeway goes down to New Orleans way over there in the distance is New Orleans a lot of this got destroyed in Hurricane Ida and hasn't been fully restored but we are going to see if we can see any gators the water's pretty choppy today so they don't think we'll see any but we're still gonna look we saw two snakes so be careful when you're out here 
morning. We're all uh, enjoying one last swing here before we go on this uh, nice live oak uh, tree that they have a swing set uh, little lounger on and uh, getting ready to pull out. Been here a little over a week with our friends and uh, it's just it's great to be able to stop by and hang out, spend some time, you know, play some games. Went out uh, to eat a couple times, did crawfish boil, hit up the uh, Renaissance Festival for their pirate weekend here this last, uh, yet, well actually yesterday. And uh, really cool to be able to do this all over the country and see, see our friends and really keep that sense of community while we're traveling and enjoying everybody. You about ready to go? No? <laughs> We're saying our goodbyes, see you later to all of our friends here in Louisiana. We're going to make a pit stop at a harvest house before we head to Texas tonight. And we're pulling out of their driveway. Thank you. And here's my ride. We just arrived to our destination in Lake Charles. So all this is on the ground. We have all that on the ground, water on the ground. The cushions aren't even on the table over here and the trash can made its way into the hallway. Tell me the I-10 does not have bumpy roads and I'll tell you, you are a liar. Apple's a nice little crunch. The uh, bacon, you can't go wrong with bacon on, a, on anything. Bacon's always good. Rosemary and that feta is really good. Good pizza, good crust. What do you think, mama? What'd you get? Pepperoni. You guys are eating a pepperoni? Oh yeah. And this place is pretty cool. They're gonna have live music tonight, so I think we're gonna come back and check it out. I think everybody at every table here right now has kids. So it's kind of fun. A little private birthday party going on or baby shower. Baby shower? Somebody's throwing a baby shower at a brewery. I like it. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Tune in next week as we make our way through Texas.